The Sukhoi Design Bureau created the Su-30SM multi-role fighter plane for the Soviet Air Force. This plane is an advanced variant of the Su-30MK combat jet. The specifications for the Su-30SM fighter aircraft were developed in conjunction with the Russian Air Force. Urkut, a Russian firm, is making it. The first Su-30SM, a fighter plane specifically developed for the Russian military, took to the skies for the first time in September 2012. Many air forces around the world, including those of Algeria, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Uganda, Venezuela, and Vietnam, use the Su-30MK as their primary fighter aircraft. The versatile Su-30SM can be used for airstrikes, ground operations, and maritime patrols. Electronic countermeasures and early notification capabilities are both within its purview. Additionally, the plane serves as a control center for a squadron of combat planes engaged in combined operations. The titanium and high-strength aluminum alloy body of the Su-30SM the Sukhoi Design Bureau and the Urquhart collaborated on the Su-30 MKI fighter for the Indian Air Force. There is a cockpit, radar equipment, and electronic storage area in the nose of the plane. Integral aerodynamic forms coupled with thrust vectoring capabilities allow for great agility. The Su-30SM has an electrically retractable tricycle landing gear. Each of the primary landing sections has a single wheel. To enter the port at the root wing, each unit reverses by 90 degrees. The landing gear's primary carbon disc brakes are hydraulic and feature an electric brake cooling fan and an anti-skid mechanism. The hydraulic nose tire adjustment allows for forward pulling. The stop parachute compartment is built into the cones at the back of the fuselage. Two AL31FP bypass turbojet engines provide thrust for the Su-30SM. After using 25,000 kg of fuel, the engine can generate full thrust. The power plant allows for Mach 2 horizontal flying. The Su-30SM has a maximum, unrefined flying range of 3,000 km. It also has a probe and a device for refueling in flight. The Su-30SM can transport cutting-edge weapons weighing up to 8 tons. The planes can be equipped with a variety of weapons, including machine guns, bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, and the supersonic Onyx Yakant, missiles used for attacking ships and ground targets. Onyx is the foundation on which NPO Machinostroenia built the BrahMos supersonic rockets. Depending on elevation, Onyx can travel between 120 and 300 kilometers. This aircraft is equipped with directed and non-directed air-to-air and air-to-surface weapons, allowing it to attack targets in the air, on the ground, and even at sea. It can launch ground assault operations using anti-surface weapons like rockets and rocket pods. With a tandem setup, two pilots can sit in the glass cabin at once. Every member of the squad has their ejection seat. In the cockpit, an advanced avionics suit is combined with a head-up display and a liquid crystal monitor that can be used for many different things. The Su-30SM comes with a system that can tell who is a friend or foe, a global location system, and an inertial navigation system. New electronics like radar systems, radios, recognition systems, and other auxiliary systems can be easily integrated thanks to the open architecture.